tracking light snow right now up in Fremont County. I don't think it's going to make all the way down to the Snake River Plain. We just got a lot of clouds over the top of us. A little bit of fog out there. Awfully foggy late last night in Idaho Falls this morning. We'll probably see a repeat of that again for the upper Snake River Plain. But you can see where the snow is around Island Park all the way down to Ashton. It looks like around Chester, not too far from there. St. Anthony's right there. So it's just staying to the northeast of you. But we could certainly see that maybe push a little farther south and get places like St. Anthony. And of course, maybe just staying to the north of Rexburg. Meanwhile, to our south and West clear sky. That's why it's so beautiful over at Stanley right now. Of course, clouds a little farther north you go. So a partly to mostly cloudy sky there. There's a storm over western Montana. You can see where most of the snow is falling up around Missoula all the way to, to almost Flathead Lake. And that's part of the same system that's stirring up that snow in Fremont County. So it will push off towards the southeast, clip part of East Idaho. So there's a threat of more snow uh, tonight and then into tomorrow, not just for the upper highlands, but also western Wyoming, Yellowstone, all the way far south is Afton. So tonight for the Snake River Plain, partly cloudy with a chance of snow up around St. Anthony. Low temperatures, well, do you notice? There's no minuses in front of these numbers, so not quite as cold as it was last night. It got way below zero in Idaho Falls. Hey, we'll stay above zero. I know nine's really cold, but at least we won't be in the negative, right? 20 will be the low in Pocatello, not too bad. 17 in Chalice, we'll call it mostly cloudy overnight. Stanley, well, it won't be quite as cold as that minus nine we had last night. We'll stay at about five above. Arco will look in a low of around 11. Isolated snow showers, of course, for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Temperatures with the clouds, a little moisture around, won't be nearly as cold as they were last night. In fact, a drags 12 for low. That's not bad. Not bad compared to last night for sure. Partly cloudy for the southeast corner. A low temperatures mainly in the teens. Then tomorrow, we'll call it a partly sunny Wednesday. A few of us will rise above freezing. Malad City looking at a high at 35. A chance of snow in the upper highlands in western Wyoming. A highs in the 20s. Upper end of that in Jackson, Driggs, and Island Park. And then partly sunny for the central mountains. Above freezing and over in Salmon, the rest of us will be freezing cold all day long. And even colder in the upper Snake River Plain. Idaho Falls only 24. A fog, th thick in spots for some, especially around Idaho Falls. I think for Pocatello, we got sunshine and we have clouds. Another day above freezing. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Look ahead, we're doing pretty good Thursday. Increasing clouds. What's this, Friday? Yeah, it's a chance of snow. We may get some. And then we're back to relatively decent weather Saturday. It looks like snow and rain a pretty good bet on Sunday as we warm up and the wind kicks in. And then just a chance of snow on Monday. Next seven days for Idaho Falls. We got fog tomorrow morning. A lot of clouds, maybe less fog on Thursday, a chance of snow Friday, one of those half and half weekends. If you're traveling this weekend, Sunday is the worst half to be traveling. We've got wind and snow. Teton area, we may see snow tomorrow. Snow perhaps Friday and Saturday, definitely snow for your Sunday. And that snow could linger in the next Monday and Tuesday. And for the central mountains, eh, clouds and sunshine, a little sunnier for your Thursday, but hey, it's all snow Friday and all snow on Sunday with chances of snow next Monday.